Hey folks, welcome to another episode of SEM Sessions. This is a raw, uncut, unedited video series where we teach you how you can attract, convert, and retain more customers to your brand through search marketing. I'm your host, Riley Farbaugh. Also with me today is Nate Boland. Say hello, Nate. Do your thing. A little, a little wave or something. A little wave. <laughs> um, today we are going to be verifying Nate's website, meanpeak.com, in Google Search Console. And we're going to show you guys how you can verify your own site as well. Uh, if you haven't seen some of our other videos on why you might want to do this, um, check back on the channel for those. Otherwise, uh, let's dig right in. Um, so we're going to be going, we're just going to Google. Google, Google Search Console, and it's going to take us to uh, search.google.com, um, used to be google.com slash webmasters, and we're going to log in. Uh, if you don't have an account, you're going to need to create one. Personally, I already have one, uh, so I am going to see all my properties here on the left, and I'm going to go to add a property. And the site that we really want for Nate is the secure version with dub dub dub. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about why that's relevant. But basically, best practice is to... Okay, look at that. That was easy. Um, <laughs> best practice really? is to verify all versions of your site. And what we mean by that is that you have four versions of any domain, right? Meanpeak.com has two secure versions, two non-secure versions, so two with HTTPS. We have HTTPS, www, meanpeakdesign.com. We have HTTPS, no www, meanpeak.com. Then we have HTTP, www, meanpeak.com. And then we have HTTP, no www, meanpeak.com. So four website properties that we'll have to verify here. So uh, this is the one of the, the videos in a series that we're doing for Christmas this year. Um, if you haven't seen the others, one of the first ones was uh, how to install Google Tag Manager. So we did that on Nate's site. Uh, the, one of the reasons for doing that is that it makes installing Google Analytics and Google Search Console really easy, as you just saw. All we did was input the domain, and it automatically verified it because my email is also used in his tag manager. Uh, so let's go to his property. We can check it out, give you guys a quick little tour. Uh, Nate had the question of, will we see previous data? or only data going forward? The answer is uh, you have to verify Google Search Console in order for it to collect data. So we will not be seeing historical data here. So unfortunately for Nate, uh, we will not see his uh, search history here, I believe. Oh, uh, maybe I was wrong, Nate. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe, we'll see. It seems like I was wrong. I mean, if I tag Google in, <laughs> for a, a while. That's so true. It could be... possible well, that that was taken in stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess I was wrong there. So, that's good news. Uh, you should be able to see some uh, previous it data. It could be just due because I was already inside Google. Uh, maybe, because, maybe if you don't have any Google products set up on your site, you won't have any previous data. But since I was on Analytics in October, um, maybe Google was just pulling in that data anyways. That could be. Possibly. That, that could be. That could make sense. Um, so let's verify the other three properties, and hopefully it will be as easy as the first. That one was. And good position, 55. <laughs> uh, the second now page. we'll do his non-secure ones. www.meanpeak.com. These are four different properties that we're verifying here, technically, although they all lead to the same website. 
And notice so if that you had a, uh, if you had a different domain, but it redirected to your actual domain, to say I had um, gooddesigns.com, and it redirected to MeanSpeak, um, I would also have to add gooddesigns.com to Search Console? Um, that's a good question. The only, I think the only reason you would want to would be if you wanted to see if there was any traffic going to that redirected URL. But once Google understands that that URL has been 301 redirected, they shouldn't show it in search uh, very often. Although that's not 100% true all the time. Um, all right, so we've verified all four properties. Um, we can see that the one that's getting the traffic is the secure one with the dub dub dub. Um, that will be the case most of the time. Uh, if you don't have an SSL certificate in 2019, I would strongly suggest that you invest in one. Um, they're fairly cheap and fairly easy to yeah, install. 15 bucks a year. Yeah, 15 bucks. 15 bucks a year. Um, and that is worth it no matter what your business is, I promise. Uh, anything else that we should look at here before we wrap up this video, Nate? Uh, maybe just potential, like what the keywords are and just how to potentially read them. Yeah, properly. so uh, your performance report right here will show you what keywords uh, your website is being displayed on. You see queries here what pages are ranking. So you see your, some of your case studies are driving traffic. Um, you can see countries, devices. Not sure what search appearance is for. I haven't used that one before. The so queries would be the keyword that was searched. And yep. Yep. To draw the impression. Exactly. Exactly. And then one other thing we can do actually is uh, real quick, we can link your Search Console and your analytics. So let's do that. All products. And we're going to link Google Search Console. Link Search Console. Add. And we are going to grab your dub 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 HTTPS right here. That's the one getting the data. And we're going to link it. Uh, whoops. And we're going to link it. And we should get an email about that. Um, but just to confirm, uh, Maybe there should be a notification also. Yeah, there we go. Uh, link analytics and search console. So resolved. So that has been completed. Um, anything else we should take a look at in this video, Nate, that you can think of? Uh, I think that's good for this episode. Um, we can't pretend to be going to, um, now that we have the data from search console, how to use that within Google AdWords, um, etc. It's definitely a lot of places you can go from uh, just setting up search console. It's a lot of useful information. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Nate's site is fairly new. That launched in, what, October, Nate? Mid-October. Yeah. So two months ago. For sites that have been up for several years, several months even, you'll see a lot more data in your search console than, uh, than we saw in Nate's. Um, and that can be very useful data in terms of, uh, you know, keyword research, research for paid ads, paid advertising, or even keyword research for your own content, uh, your own content strategy and organic SEO. Yeah, it's definitely important to set it up as soon as possible. Um, there's no point to really wait on it, like, especially if your business is like five years on the internet. It's way more worth it setting up within the first few weeks of starting your business than waiting a few years. Um, just more data and this data can help you really expand.
expand your company online. So. Uh, we Don't really wait. feel like the data that you get from Search Console is very valuable and will help you grow your business, which is why we're recording this video to help you set this up yourself. Um, if you feel like you are struggling, feel free to reach out. We would be happy to give you a hand. Um, other than that, I think we pretty much covered the scope of this video. Our next video is going to be about how to set up our first uh, paid search campaign on Google Ads. So tune back in for that one and we'll see you there.